Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a single airlock system that's controlled by a single event controller that can be activated by a singular button. Make sure nobody can get stuck on the inside of your base and nobody gets locked outside of your base if you have more than one player on your server. So what do I mean by this? Well, what I've got behind me is a small example of a doorway that is closed. If I was to peer the camera all the way through, we can see that the doorway is open on the opposite side. On this one, the front door is open, but the back one is closed, allowing me to get in from the outside, then go across to the base. Just walking across, hitting the big red button in the middle, door will close, aerial pump full of oxygen, open up to the base, and now I'm on the inside. The door on the opposite side will do the complete opposite, where this doorway will close, and now the door to the outside is open. This is a very handy thing to have on a base or on a ship, if you have more than one player. So yes, how do we set this thing up? If I was to drop my character over at this small little base that I made earlier, I'll go through the steps of how you can make this and how it all works. So on tab number one, these are the blocks I'm going to be using. Of course, you don't have to use these blocks. You can use any of the other ones you want. And you don't have to use this exact design. I'm just going for a straight line because it's nice and simple. So you can go for something big and fancy. That's what you want to do. But yes, I'm going to be using some light armor blocks, a sliding door, the air vent, the big red button to cycle the airlock, you can use a sense block if you want to have a hands-off experience. That's up to you. The event controller, a conveyor junction, and of course all the other conveyor blocks, and some steps to be able to get up to the doorway to go inside. So we're going to start off by making a little platform. So we're going to go like this, and I want it to be about, yeah, that'll do quite nicely. So now we've got our two doorways to go in and out. Just going to block up one of these for the moment, and I'm going to put a divider in the middle. We're going to start off by building the left-hand airlock, then we're going to move over to the right hand airlock, and then that will be that. So dropping all the way down and bringing the sun back around. So now, well, that'll have to do because the sunlight doesn't appear to be in a great location. We're going to put down our first door. So this door is going to be the one going to the inside of the base. And I want to make sure this one is closed and turned off. This could be very important to do, because this is how we're going to cycle the whole airlock system. And to make it a bit easier to actually use, I'm going to rename this one to then the left and number one. Turn around and placing the second door. I want this one to be open and turned on. But once again, I'm also going to rename this one to be left and number two. There we go. Up next, I need to place down my air vent, which we're just going to slap in the middle. You don't have to have it on top. You can have it on the side, built into the floor. It's up to you if you want to do that. And now I want to come inside the air vent onto its control panel and come over to this setting. Because this side of the airlock is going to be starting open to the outside, I want to make sure that it's depressurization is turned on. I also want to then come down to the setup actions and I want to make it so both the doorways, so door number one and door number two, are going to be to open up. I'm going to come into this one, drag it down, set it to open for both of them. And of course, just making this a bit easier, I'm going to change this one to the left air end by just typing L. Now, all I need to do is place down a button, which will come back to at the very end, seal this all in, connect up the air end to the base, then we'll move over to the event controller. Now we come over to the conveyors, put that across, and we come across over to here. So putting down the event controller, which you want to have this in a much more protected area than out in the open like I'm doing, it serves this purpose, the example. Yes, we're going to come into the control panel and move all the way down. We want to find the events area, we're going to scroll all the way down to door opened. This is what's going to basically be the trigger for how everything is going to work. Just scrolling down a bit more, we now have a new option right below here, we can see the available blocks. I want to add both these sliding doors to the available blocks, and this will simply mean that the event controller will now monitor these two doors for any kind of movement, and when it does open or when it does close, it's now going to trigger the actions we set up in here. So selecting the select actions, we're going to come down to the second slot. We're going to ignore the first slot, we do not want to use this, we want to use the second one next to the little hand symbol. And I want to find the first door, bring it all the way down, and toggle the block on and off. We then move over to tab number two, where we're going to take our second door, bring it all the way down, and say I want to toggle on and off as well. We then move across to tab number three, where we're going to find our air vent. So there's the air vent left, bring it down to the second slot, and change it to depressurize on and off. There we go. We are now complete with a first and single airlock. Now all I've got to do is put some steps down, we come all the way up to it, close the door, and now it should all be functioning. So there we go, close it locked, pumped out oxygen, that door is now opened up to the inside of the base, and there we are. Making sure it works on the opposite way, closing, turns off, sucks out the oxygen, and now it opens up. 
there's our first airlock. So moving across to the second airlock, we want to do the complete opposite. So because that doorway over there is closed, this doorway is opened, we want to make sure this one is open and this one is closed. Now I'll bring our doorway back around once again, pasting that down. This one now wants to be opened as it is right now. Turning around and dropping another doorway, this one wants to be closed and turned off. We now close that, turned it off, and I want to rename both these doors to make it easier to find later on. So this will be right number two, and then this one will be right number one. There we are. Up next will be once again the errand, we're going to drop it right in the middle there, come into the control panel and do exactly what we did before. We're going to have the depressurized turned off, because this one is going to be opened up to the base, I want to make sure the oxygen is pumping all the way through. Now we're going to come down to set up actions, and for this we're going to do exactly the same as before, we're going to take both of our right doors, and we're going to tell it to open up. There's the first one, and there's the second one. And with this, all we need to do is, in case it's in, take up our air into the base, then go back over to the event controller block. And we're now ready to go. So dropping down once again over to the event controller block, what we're not going to do is add these two blocks to these selected blocks. We do not want the event controller to be monitoring all the doors. We want everything to trigger off the first two doors, and these two will fall into place later on. But we do want to come up to the selected actions, come over to tab number four, and go from here. So yes, tab number one, we've got off, off, depressurization. Tab number four, we want to find our right door, and we want to have that one to turn on and off. We want to come over to tab number 5, we want to have that one to turn on and off once again. Then we want to find our right hand air vent, which would be this one that I forgot to rename. Bring it all the way down, depressurization on and off. And now, all we have to do is find all of our doors built with the airlock system. So here is left 1 and 2, right 1 and 2. Turn this to a master toggle, so I'm going to call this doors. That I'll have to do because I've got a capsule turned on by default. And now we've got to come all the way over and set up our button panel. So what I'm going to do, come into this one. Up to here, find our big red button, right click this one, find the group which is doors, bring it all the way down, and tell it to close. Now if we to hit the button, everything should be working. So that closes, turn off, pumps oxygen, opens up. Looking through the other doorway, we now see that it's fully working. So that was now opened up, this one has closed. It was to bring three camera over to the opposite side and drop my character down. Then set up the button for the opposite side, all the way up, dropping this exactly how I had it before. There we go, into this. Drop down that group we just made, which is doors, down to here, tell it to close. Now we can watch it from this side. Pressing the button, closes turn off, pumps oxygen, opens up. On the opposite side, there we go. So yes, that is how you make a double airlock system using a singular button and a singular event controller. And yes, it'll be a very handy thing to have on a large base, on a large ship, and should prove very useful. That is that for this video, I hope this has been helpful, and I hope this will prove useful in the future. So thank you all for watching, I'll be back with another video some point soon, bye bye.